Hello, fellows. I want to shed light on the implicit function uh, that is available in the, uh, the recently published MS Lattice software. Uh, I think uh, this, this module needs a little bit of um, explanation uh, to uh, some of the new joiners to this TPMS um, world. In this tab or in this window, you can actually plot your own unit cell uh, provided that you have uh, the implicit function that describe that unit cell. For example, here we are showing this complex kind of structure uh, described by this equation and this um, function can be patterned in, in, in space, um, in different directions, and then you can modify the mesh in order to capture the topology very well. The software will also uh, return to you the resulting relative density that corresponds to the isovalue that you uh, describe. Here you might notice that the more you refine the resolution, then the, the closer you get to um, the actual uh, resulting relative density. Here, as I said, you can plot uh, a lot of other functions that you um, already have the equation for. I'm showing several examples here. This is another one um, that corresponds to one uh, TPMS structure that is out there in literature. You can easily grab any equation, any um, implicit function and just plot it. This is another example. So let me just show the single unit cell here. Uh, let's say this is how it looks. Yeah, it's pretty complex. And again, as I said, uh, the relative density is uh, here, shown here. Another thing that um, I'd like to show is the isosurface. In fact, the software allows the user to plot not only the lattice, but also the isosurface and to, sh to see the mesh uh, corresponding to that isosurface or even for the lattice itself. Um, we can grab another um, equation here. I have many of these equations prepared. I just uh, plug and plot here. Again, I want to show only the sheet networks, for example, and let's say 0.5. Uh, for the ISO value, which is the thickening uh, kind of, um, yeah, so this is the structure. We go, we'll go less in, in thickness and we see it interconnected. Again, here we can plot uh, a unit cell or multiple unit cells and controlling this uh, ISO value, you can always control the uh, corresponding relative density. And you can actually correlate the ISO value with the uh, corresponding relative density for your, for your lattice. Another example uh, we have here, uh, that's another complex lattice. And all of these you can find in literature. You can easily grab these structures and uh, these functions and plot them. Uh, you get your own, you don't have to stick to the ones that are only available within the uniform or the graded uh, uh, tabs. What else you can do here is actually described in the paper that uh, has been in, in which this software has been published. For example, you can do hybrid structures. I put an example in the paper in section 2.33 about cell type grading or multi multimorphology, and here we explain the theory uh, behind it. But also, we uh, so this is the structure that we want to plot now and uh, explain. But also in the supplementary material, there is a mathematical implementation of this function or uh, an example of that, uh, that theory. And this is, at the end, the resulting uh, equation. And I have it written in MATLAB form here. Uh, it's a pretty long equation, I understand, but it's, it, it is doable. Um, that what we did here is we are trying to hybrid dyes, three different uh, lattices that uh, are nucleated at three points. So point one, point two, and point three, which correspond to the minus uh, half in the x direction, 
uh, and um, yeah, and the z and what z and y directions, and then uh, these are the seeds. So in each one of these points, we'll put one lattice, and then um, we will plot the function. I think uh, used unit cell of three mm, if I'm not mistaken. And then if you plot this function, um, you will get this type of hybrid structure. You can try your own hybridization scheme. You can um, uh, try to start with to, to hybridize three or more uh, unit cell types. Um, again, here, if, if, you, if you run into these sort of issues, it's a mesh um, density. So you want to capture the, the surface really well. So that's what you go ahead and do. You increase the number of points. Um, so all of this is actually described here in the help menu of the implicit function where I also show an example of how to grade a structure. So for example here, uh, if you want to do functional grading in this tab as well, you can um, describe the ISO value as a function instead of a constant. Then um, let's see what I have to one. And then you will get something more or less like, like this. Uh, you need to know how the C value correlates with the relative density, not this one. The solid, this is made for the solid, this correlation for the solid networks, not the sheet one. So this is how, yeah, this is how the grading takes place. And of course, all of these you can simply export um, to an STL file. When you are done, you just save it somewhere here and we are done. So these are some examples of how to use the implicit function I just wanted to share with you. And if you have any question, please drop me an email or contact me uh, in, in LinkedIn. Thank you very much for, uh, for your attention.